Hi class and welcome to the third week of health policy. In this video I will briefly be going over the information and the materials covered in this week's module. So here we are on the first content page of the module and you are actually viewing this video which is located right here and then I'm just going to slowly scroll down and just point out that here are the learning objectives for the week and I want to go over the assignments for the week. So this week you have you are assigned to read two chapters, chapter 5 on public health institutions and systems and then chapter 14 on the art of structuring and writing a health policy analysis. Now before I go on to the other assignments that we have for this week, I do want to just take a moment with, regarding chapter four and the health policy analysis. So last week you submitted your health policy topic and in the next week or two, um, you, I think if I'm not mistaken, next week, you have your health policy outline that is due. So for the health policy paper, which includes the outline and obviously the video presentation, I want to make sure that you include or you analyze your chosen health policy topic through the use of a health policy analysis. So I'm going to quickly jump to chapter 14 in our required textbook and just very briefly touch on the key elements of the health policy analysis. So usually in your research papers you include a clearly stated thesis. In this case you will be defining the problem being addressed and that will be your problem statement. Then you'll include your background information on the topic. This is where you have a lot of your research just giving your reader an idea of your topic and you want to be very clear and thorough in this section. Then you will go into the landscape of your topic, and this is where you review the various stakeholders and their concerns, and you do need to be very specific. And remember, when it comes to your outline and video, um, I'm sorry, outline and paper, I expect in text citations, you need to clearly indicate where you retrieve the research you are presenting from. And of course, you must include a reference list. And then you need to include different options to try to address the problem. And then last, your recommendation and then your conclusion, okay? Now, in chapter four, it goes into more detail regarding these different elements, but I did briefly want to touch on it and make sure that you are clear on including them and addressing them regarding your health policy topic in your outline. All right, now the other assignments for this week. So you have another discussion board assignment on a Navigate to scenario. It's actually the second episode titled Going from Policy to Law. And the discussion board forum will be open all week and your assignment is due on January 27th, which is Sunday. Again, remember that I am looking for substantive resp uh, responses as well as a post. Um, your assignment post should be at least 500 words. I strongly suggest for you to take the time to also include some research that you've done on your own. Make sure to reference those sources and respond to two of your fellow classmates. Again, your health policy outline is due next week. Keep in mind what I covered regarding the key elements of the health policy analysis from chapter 14. I expect you to include or cover those different areas in your health policy outline. And then you have a, another discussion board assignment, but this one's actually one that I personally enjoy, and it's putting together a Padlet wall. So what you'll be doing is choosing a topic from weeks one through three in our course, and then doing some research on it. And you'll be putting together this Padlet wall, which is kind of emulates 
your white poster board that you might remember using for a science project uh, during your elementary, middle, or high school years. And you will be able, but this is an electronic form of that white poster board, so you'll be able to post videos, text, images to effectively convey the message you are trying to convey through your Padlet wall. Um, I do suggest for you to include sources. You can include in the discussion board post where you introduce your Padlet wall and include the link. Let me jump really quick to the instructions on using a Padlet wall, which is actually a content page found in the student resource module in this course. All right, so let me jump over there really quick. Um, and here we are. So this is an instructional video on using your Padlet wall. I do want to point out that you want to make sure that you're not just throwing information and videos and images without having some kind of pattern where your reader can kind of, or your viewer can kind of go through and um, follow the different posts you have. So here we have two different examples. This one was actually where they actually included numbers um, to kind of guide you through. Below that is actually a healthcare system regarding India's, India's healthcare system. And I actually embedded it here. And this kind of gives you an idea. Definitely, I always strongly suggest including graphs, really giving the viewer um, a clear idea of what you're, you're covering and videos and such. So I look forward to viewing your Padlet wall. So I've jumped back to our weekly module. And as I scroll further down, here are the video lectures for chapter 5 and 14. And last is the weekly checklist for this week. I'm going to jump to the next page. Here you have the chapter PowerPoints that go along with the assigned readings and then the information from the chapter. So here for chapter five, we have the framework of the delivery of public health services. But I am thinking I, I could tell what I did wrong here. Don't mind me. I know I'm uh, going off topic, but um, I think I, I didn't post it all together because I was going to say there aren't only two. Um, so I will be fixing this, but again, this is the delivery of public health services. As I scroll further down, you'll see the rest of it. Here you go. Um, core function of assessment, core function of policy development, and so on. Okay, so let me scroll back up. This is for Chapter 5 again. And then here is a brief history of public health agencies in the U.S. This is from our required textbook. You could read it from the textbook or just read it from here, whichever is easier for you. All right, so I'm going to scroll further down. Um, and here's a little text box that explains the community-oriented primary care. And then again, for Chapter 14, I know I didn't include it here, but I did include it in this video, the key elements of the health policy analysis. So let me jump to the videos for this week. So we have for Chapter 5, what is public health video. Um, it just highlights what public health is all about. And then the second video covers how CDC scientists address major outbreaks to protect public health around the world. All right, now I'm not going to click on that next uh, button, which is right here on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, but I will quickly just mention that you will be, when once you click it, you will be directed to the discussion board forum for the Navigate to Scenario discussion board assignment on the second episode titled Going from Policy to Law. You also have your discussion board assignment on the Padlet wall, which I briefly went over in this weekly video. And just a quick reminder, next week your global health outline, I'm so sorry, your health policy outline is due, not your global health outline. It's your health policy outline and you will be including the health poli the primary elements of that health policy analysis in that outline. If you have any questions at all, never hesitate to reach out to me. Best of luck, everyone, and take care. Bye.